This is just one of the buildings on the SEL Health at St. Vincent campus that is over 100 years old, and that's the key to Thursday morning's big announcement that it hopes will keep it at the forefront of health care in the region for the next 50 years and beyond. The new St. Vincent Healthcare. It's been a big couple months for St. V's, first merging with Intermountain Health in April, and now this news. Don't worry, it won't come as a shock to the new bosses. Actually, this is the first time they're hearing about it. It's a big secret. No, I'm teasing. Of course not. No, they're, they're very much on board. St. V's says they've been talking about their options for years, and a cost-benefit analysis tells them a brand new hospital is a better solution than incremental improvements. Our units look beautiful. We have a beautiful campus, but we know that structural integrity is not going to last longer than what we currently have. The other big consideration was location, and St. V's did look at the West End. It wasn't a question of one or the other. It was an opportunity for us to think about and. And so we are also committed to serving the Western Billings market, and we have some expansion plans in place there as well. You won't notice changes anytime soon. St. V's doesn't expect the funding plan to be completed until late 2023. And once ground is broken after that, it'll take five years to complete. Parking could be an issue once construction starts, but a new parking garage just south of the new hospital hopes to take care of that. Ideally, we would want to construct our own parking structure first. Once we do that, we won't have the parking crunch, and then we can go into the poly and 27th corner and start with our construction. As for the new hospital itself, it'll increase bed capacity from 253 to 295, with each room able to be transformed into an ICU room within minutes. The key will be efficiency in a state-of-the-art space. I will walk new halls, perhaps with fewer steps, <laughs> and plumbing that doesn't challenge us on a daily basis. St. V's is still figuring out what to do with the old hospital once the transition is complete. Possibilities right now include turning it into condos or apartments, retail business, or demolishing the buildings to make way for a green space. In Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN News.